All over the world, farmers tend their crops. They try to manage their land well. They buy good seed and fertilizers, but they also need the right weather, including plenty of rain. They all hope for a good harvest. All of them hope that their crops will be spared by pests and disease. However, pests and disease can be found everywhere, and that's why farmers all over the world have to use crop protection measures if they want to protect their good yield. Chemical pesticides are the predominant method of crop protection. However, these pesticides require a high degree of responsibility on the part of the user, since incorrect use could be harmful. They must be handled carefully and properly, strictly according to the label. Safety begins in the store. You should not find that your local store is storing pesticides together with foodstuffs, between rice and biscuits, milk and sugar. This is wrong, and such a storekeeper is putting himself and others at risk. Pesticides should not be stored here. Pesticides should be stored away from foodstuffs. Safest of all is to lock pesticides away. Modern crop protection products are relatively safe, but as with all chemicals, some pesticides are more harmful than others, and on the approved label, these symbols warn you of the particular hazards associated with a particular product. This is a good reason why pesticides must be kept in their original package and never repacked or decanted into another container. This could put someone at risk from poisoning. You should buy only pesticides in their original package from an authorised retailer. Try to avoid the possibility of being sold fake or counterfeit products. Original products are tested and approved by the authorities of your country. They are reliably effective and safe if the approved label is followed closely. Children shouldn't be allowed to handle pesticides. If you are a storekeeper, you should never sell pesticides to children. Only adults buy pesticides. During transport, pesticides must again be kept away from foodstuffs and animal feed. This is wrong. Pesticides should never be loaded with foodstuffs and should always be firmly secured. Small pictogram drawings often advise you how to handle pesticides properly. This pictogram tells you that the pesticide must be kept out of the reach of children. This is a good storage place. The farmer keeps his pesticides in a special cupboard and the farm building is kept locked. Before using a pesticide, always read the instructions on the label. They give important information, such as what the product is used for, how much will be needed per unit area, when the product should be used. The label instructions also tell you the pre-harvest safety interval, PHI. This is the time you must wait between the last application of a pesticide and harvesting the crop. If these instructions aren't followed, the user and the consumer and the environment may be harmed. Pictograms on the label help make instructions clear and it cannot be emphasised enough that you should never allow children nearby when you are working with pesticides. If you mix pesticides near the home, you may put people as well as domestic animals at risk. This is wrong. The man isn't wearing gloves and he is using a cup from his kitchen to measure pesticides. This is the right way. This man is wearing the correct protective gloves, a waterproof apron and protection for his eyes. And he is using equipment which has been specially marked for use with pesticides. This is very wrong and dangerous. Avoid all skin contact with pesticides. Only stir pesticides with a stick. If some of the spray mixture or concentrate pesticide splashes into your skin, wash immediately and thoroughly with soap and water. When mixing pesticides, only use containers which are marked for this purpose. When mixing the concentrate pesticide, first pour some water into the bucket and add the right amount according to the label. 
Stir the mixture thoroughly with a stick, then top up with water. If you use too little, the mixture will not be effective, and if you use too much, the plants may be damaged and you may risk higher residues in the harvesting crop. Pesticides are expensive. Always keep this rule in mind. As much as necessary, but as little as possible. Always follow the label instructions. Only trained and experienced people should work with pesticides. You must always work slowly and carefully. If you are not careful when pouring the spray mixture, this might happen. This is the right way to do it. It's always better to use a funnel. If there is a problem and the spray equipment has a leak, here the hose connection is loose, you should stop working immediately and wash. You should protect yourself from spray contamination by wearing appropriate protective clothing. Deciding what protective clothing is necessary means reading the label, but generally you should wear the following protective clothing. Protective gloves, sturdy footwear, rubber boots are the best and a cotton coverall covering all parts of the body. If several people are spraying at the same time, they should walk well apart. This man is spraying a tree, which means he is working above his head. He is wearing a face mask, gloves and a cap. It would have been better if he was wearing goggles to protect his eyes as well. Again, always follow the label instructions which will explain the safety precautions which must be followed when working with pesticides. This often happens. The nozzle is blocked and this young man is cleaning it with a small pointed stick which will not damage the nozzle. He then rinses it with water. This is the right way to do it. You should never get spraying mixture in or near your mouth. This is why you should not blow into a nozzle to unblock it. It is wrong and potentially dangerous. When working with pesticides, you shouldn't drink, eat or smoke. Before eating, you should wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. When you have finished working, you should rinse the spraying equipment thoroughly. Don't dispose of the leftover spraying mixture near wells, ponds or streams. It could harm fish and other water animals. At the end of the spraying, rinse up the spraying equipment thoroughly three times and dispose the washing into a wide area in or at the edge of a treated field. When you have finished working, you and any others who might have come into contact with pesticides should wash themselves thoroughly to remove even the smallest traces of pesticide, which might have got into the skin. You should always change into clean clothes. If someone becomes ill, suddenly complaining of headache, dizziness, feeling sick or is showing any other symptoms, he may have been poisoned. The affected person should be taken to a doctor immediately. The correct antidote is normally specified on the label and therefore you should always take the label or the pesticide package with you and show it to the doctor. The pre-harvest safety interval between the last application of a pesticide and the harvesting of a crop must be observed. The interval should be specified on the label. Please take these instructions very seriously. The consumer of your crops must always be protected also. Pesticides protect our crops, but they must be used correctly. Everybody who uses a pesticide has a big responsibility, including their own safety, the safety of the consumer and of the environment. Government approval for the use of pesticides can only be granted if the authorities can be convinced that such pesticides will be used properly. Please remind your workers about the responsibility they have when they are working with pesticides. They have a responsibility towards themselves, their families and the wider public who want to have sufficient high quality food to be available in their markets.